Hello, among the international foci of the day is Yemeni crisis, which has been going on in its fifth year now and has caused tremendous deprivations, devastations and famine in this country, which is not too far away from India. Uh, how has the situation come to pass and how is it likely to pan out in future is something that we will study together with its ramifications on our own interests. Yemen is located in the southwest corner of Arabian Peninsula. It is a hilly terrain in the north and is desert in the south. It has longish coastline along uh, Red Sea coast as well as uh, Arabian Sea. Uh, it contains Bab al Mandeb, a region with, through which much of tra international trade between Europe and Asia passes. Uh, that is where lies its strategic significance. And also important here is the region itself, which has its own peculiarities with Sudan, Somalia, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Oman, and other neighboring countries being involved in the crisis. To get it right, and in a nutshell, the country is officially called Yemen Arab Republic. It has a population of 27.5 million, and it has an area of 528,000 square kilometers. Its GDP on nominal basis is $285 billion. Per capita income wise, it turns out to be something like $925 per person, which is nearly half of India's per capita income. This shows that Yemen is among the poorest countries of the Arabian Peninsula as well as the Arab world itself. Why is Yemen so important? Yemen's importance to the world at large lies in it being a guardian of Bab al Mandeb region through which much of the uh, trade between Asia and Europe through Suez Canal lies. Any insecurity or uh, terrorism in this area can make passage through this strait, which is a jugular of world trade, difficult. It may have serious consequences for us as well as nearly 40% of our trade with Europe and United States goes through this area. Even otherwise, Yemen has been a, a region with ancient ties with India and a lot of Yemeni extraction people used to work in India, particularly during Nizam's term in Hyderabad state. So there, there are Indians still in Yemen as uh, expatriate workers. Their future remains of concern to our national interest and we would like them to be safe and out of harm's way. India has not taken any official position on Yemeni crisis except for 
wishing the hostilities to cease and the problem to be resolved amicably without outside interference. We nevertheless remain vigilant and hope that the problem would have an early solution. Thank you.